Hi, welcome to My GP Cloud. My name is Steve, and in the next two videos, we're going to take a look at the two most popular reporting tools in Dynamics GP. We're going to be taking a look at SmartList and also the standard reporting tool in GP. In SmartList, we're going to look at standard reports, modifying those reports, and then exporting those reports to Excel and Word. SmartList is an ad hoc reporting tool that comes with Dynamics GP. It is an excellent reporting tool, and the reason people like it so much is that it's easy to use and it's easy to customize. You can customize it so you can get the information that you want when you want it. Let's take a look at it. In Dynamics GP, I'll go up to the Microsoft Dynamics GP drop-down and go to Smart Lists. This brings up all the Smart Lists within my system. And what SmartList is, is really it's a collection of table groups that are put together to make reporting easy. Let's go into the purchasing series and then down to vendors. Here I've got a standard reports that come with the system. Let's look at the primary one here. This is merely a list of all my vendors with some address information. So this is a nice report, but I can modify it easily. I can also put selection criteria just to just get the data that I want. I can save it as a favorite. I can also export it to Word or Excel, plus it's another way to navigate the system. For example, if I select this vendor here and then go to the Go To button in the upper right hand side, I have access to a number of different windows within GP so I can easily get information on this particular vendor. So let's say I want to add an additional field to this report. It's easy to do. I'll select Columns here and then add. And you can see here that there are dozens of columns to choose from and the one I want here is the current balance. I'll select that and then I'm going to promote it in my list. It's down here at the bottom but I want it at the top so I'll do that and hit OK. And now I have a new report. I've added additional field to it. I can sort on that field by clicking on the column balance, column header at the top. You can see how that moves. And now say I want to add a search criteria. I just want to look at vendors that have a current balance greater than $50,000. That's easy to do. I'll go over to the search here. I'll look up the field that I want to search on. That's the current balance. And I want to look at all records that have a current balance greater than $50,000. So I'll type that in here. Hit OK. And now I have a modified list. Now if I want to, I can save that as a favorite. I can click on favorites up here. I can put a name on that. And I can save it. I can save it to everybody in the system or I can just save it to myself or a group of users. I'm going to save it for everyone and add it as a favorite. Now I've got that favorite, I can go back to it over and over again. In fact, other people can look at this as well. And One other thing I wanted to show you is I can easily take this information and I can export it to Word or Excel by clicking on the icons up here. I'm going to click on Excel. It's going to open up Excel. It's going to open up a new worksheet. It's going to move that data into Excel. You see how easy that is to do. Once you understand SmartList, you'll be using it every day to get the information that you want out of Dynamics GP. In the next video, we'll look at the standard reporting tool that comes with Dynamics GP.